Hello, my geniuses. How are you doing? My geniuses, guess what? Today, I have something exciting for you. Look at this. Can you believe it? Yes, it is Sweet Sweet Mango Tree. This is one of our childhood favorites in Jamaica. And even though I am in America now, I wanted to read this for you for such a long time and I have it. So today I will be doing a read aloud on Sweet Sweet Mango Tree. Yes, another day we will look at why dogs don't like puss. Are you excited? I am so excited. At the end, I will be asking you some questions about the story. So make sure you just sit there, relax, and to let me read for you, okay? And put your mind in another place. Happy Friday! Guys, I'm telling you, this is like antique greatness. I can't believe I found it. Look at the picture. Can you see that? Do you really believe it? You remember it? All right, so sweet, sweet mango tree. Ben was a man who did not like to work. One day, he was sitting under a tree. He heard a noise far away in the bush. It was like somebody singing, but it was not a song Ben knew. Ben wanted to see what was happening, so he walked quietly through the bush. Then Ben saw a funny thing. There was an old man in a red hat. He was dancing around a big mango tree. As he danced, he sang, Sweet, sweet mango tree, mango tree sweet. My children need something to eat. Then, to Ben's surprise, he heard a deep voice, What do you want to eat? It was the mango tree speaking. The old man in the red hat danced and sang, Sweet, sweet mango tree, mango tree sweet. My children need rice and meat. Look at the other page, guys. See that? Then the tree began to shake. It looked as if a big wind was blowing, but there was no wind. The mangoes on the tree went round and round. Suddenly, Ben heard a loud noise. He thought it was mangoes falling, but it was not. Bags of rice and meat fell out of the tree. The old man put the rice and meat into a basket. Then he danced around the tree again. As he danced, he sang, I thank you, dear mango tree, I thank you. Then the old man went away. Ben stood still. He thought about what he had seen. I am not hungry, he said to himself, but what a good way to get food and I would not have to work for it. Ben ran to the tree and shouted, Mango tree, mango tree, I want something to eat. Nothing happened. So he danced around the tree, but still nothing happened. He had forgotten the words the old man said. So the next day, Ben stayed in the bush. He wanted to see if the old man would come again. The old man did come. He danced and sang. He asked for milk and bread. And just as before, the tree shook as if a big wind was blowing it. Milk and bread fell to the ground. This time, Ben was sure of the words. He said just what the old man had said. But he asked for a lot of things. He wanted meat, rice, milk, bread, and rum. All these things dropped out of the tree. He began to pick up some rice and suddenly everything went back up into the tree. What had happened? He had forgotten to say thank you. Look at the picture, guys. So Ben danced around the tree and sang, I thank you, dear mango tree, I thank you. All the things dropped to the ground again. 
Ben could not eat all these things, so he went to town and sold some of them. It was a good way to make money, and he did not have to work. Every day the old man came to the tree and asked for a little food. And every day Ben came to the tree and asked for a lot of food. Then he went to town and sold it. Ben was making a lot of money, but he wanted more. Let me see if the tree will give me other things, he said to himself. Maybe I could ask for clothes. No, I will ask for a lot of money. Then I can buy anything I want. I will live in a big house. Even selling is hard work. This way, I will not have to work again. I will be rich. So the next day, he went to the mango tree. He took a lot of baskets to put the money in. He danced and sang. Sweet, sweet mango tree, mango tree sweet. My children want money to eat. Maybe nothing will happen, he thought. Maybe the tree will know that people do not eat money. But the tree began to shake and shake. Money began to fall to the ground and Ben began to fill the baskets. He did not even stop to say thank you. But this time the tree did not take back anything. More money just fell. Soon Ben had filled all the baskets and still more money fell and fell and fell. It fell on top of him. It covered him up. Then the tree stopped shaking. The old man came the next day. He saw a lot of green mangoes under the tree, but he did not think about it. He just got his food and went away. He did not know about Ben, so he did not look for him. And nobody ever saw Ben again. My geniuses, that is the end of the story. See, look at the green mangoes under the tree. Yes, that is Ben covered under there. Huh? I hope that you learned the moral of the story. Now, I would tell you the moral of the story. But what I want for you to do for me is, I want you to tell me the moral of the story in the comment section. Okay? So I am looking for that moral right in that comment section. Now, here are your questions. Who are the characters in the story? Yes, who are the characters in the story? Now, can you please tell me two nouns from the story? So what are two nouns in that story there? Uh-huh. What was the problem in the story, my geniuses? What was the major problem? No, if you told me the problem, I want for you to tell me the solution. So what was the solution there? Because in every story, you have a problem and you have a solution. Uh-huh. Who do you think that old man lived with? Yes. And what are some character traits to describe the old man? What are some character traits that you'd use to describe the old man? While we're at it, what are some character traits you'd use to describe Ben? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ben, right? <laughs> what was your favorite part of the story? Did you enjoy it? So tell me, what was your favorite part of the story? I enjoyed the story so much. It is always an exciting story for me. What did you think of the tr Ben asking the tree for rum? Hmm? Can you believe it? Oh, come on, Ben, and close. And then you realize he didn't even want to work. So what else did he ask for? What came to his demise? What was the thing that he asked for that made him disappear? <laughs> now, guys, do you think anybody missed Ben? And if so... 
Do you think they came looking for him? These are some of the things I want you to answer for me. Okay, my geniuses? Please tell me the song that they would sing. So what's the song that they would sing around the mango tree? What is the song that they would sing that would give them what they want? And then you ought to tell me the magic words, okay? So what are the magic words that you needed to say for the things to remain there? And I hope you're using your magic words, right, my geniuses? Yes, because geniuses use those every day. Now, what other title would you give to the story apart from Sweet, Sweet Mango Tree? So what other title would you give to that story? My geniuses, I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did because I really, really did. Now, I want to thank you so very much for watching Reading Unlimited with KDN. I want to thank you for liking, for subscribing, and for commenting because you know that's the only way I can hear from you and I love hearing from you. I really do. Guys, please join me on my live today, Friday, and every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There we will have loads of fun and giveaways and we can interact. Yes, I am so excited to see you then. So make sure that you join me, guys. Have you been looking in that mirror? Have you been telling yourself awesome things? You're special. You're beautiful. You're magnificent. You're a star. You're a genius. You're talented. You are brilliant. Have you been kind to yourself? I hope so. But in so doing, be kind to others. And if you have nothing good to say about people, please, my geniuses, say absolutely nothing at all. Now, my geniuses, have yourselves a great day. Bye.